Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. In this video I will try to play the PC game on my deck station using Exogear Android app. This Android app or Android apps and there is two of them, actually there is three of them but in this video I will, I will talk about two and I will test only one. And uh, the two apps um, that I have installed is called Exogear Strategies and Exogear RPG. The difference between them is uh, Exegia strategy is designed to emulate and run, not emulate, uh, to run PC games that are strategy games because the input and the, the, the inputs of the control scheme is designed more for strategies, strategy games. And Exegia RPG is built in the control schemes, uh, control templates, more designed for RPG style games. So which game you would like to run or play on your run and play on your deck station or android devices in general you need to make sure that you choose the right one before you go and start playing so um like i said um there is three apps uh, available so exagear strategies exagear rpg and exagear windows emulator which is quite costly and these are available for free with a trial version of 10 minutes of game time so in 10 minutes if you think after 10 minutes of gaming you think oh this is great you can have go and spend this extra um extra extra money of of yours um to buy the license for the control schemes because basically you you buy the the license not for app but for the control scheme that you would like to use to play i think that's the way it is we, well we're gonna double check and um and these not don't expect to run fall most recent fallout or something like diablo 3 on your on your deck station is more for old school games that they, those games that usually you can find them under website called gog.com goodoldgames.com that's where you can find and this what the the extra gear developers are recommending to go to gog website to download the game and i'll explain to you how all installation works so under uh, this is the developers page and the under products there is exegear desktop mobile and exegear for chromebook we're going to talk about exegear mobile so if i click on there it gives me options which which topic i want to learn more like about do you want to learn how to play windows rpg games on android play windows strategy games or just run windows application so this is a free free apps available on the android um, ecosystem and we're going to talk about or oh, i'll show you a game on the rpg one so if i go down and want to learn more so I click on exit gear strategies for example so it gives me official list of the games that supports so fallout 1 2 starcraft brood war heroes of might and magic 3 diablo 2 disc the disciples 2 and etc uh, unreal tournament you can play on there and below it says these games works but they are not tested by actual developers just being tested by community so let's say you can play half-life one day and command and conquer red alert and etc and this big blue button will open a pdf file where community updating um, on what games you can play and what games what the, the settings you need to do so for example um, age of empire 2 control scheme doesn't matter X, um, X, exe file you need to uh, rename to disciples 2 so basically it's this dis disciples 2 game you just rename this do these settings and uh, all explanation of exactly what all these means is down down the uh, at the end of this file i will leave the link to this file to everything in the description below instead of you just need to go on hunting i will basically present all the necessary links in the description below so if you want to go and check them out please do it while you're there don't forget to click like and maybe subscribe to my channel so let's close that so there is official list there is an unofficial list um so uh we have basically option which one which games you want to play so i have a P P pc game already set up on my internal storage and what happens when you install either of these programs it creates a folder on your internal storage by the name of exagear so if i go and find it this is exagear and inside i have the pc game by the name of might and magic 8 this is very 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 old game 
So if we go to uh, Google and let's say Might and Magic 8. So let's see how old this game is. Year 2000. So it's been released in the year 2000. Uh, is it year 2000? Initial release date is 2000. 7th of March 2000. So this is the real game. But it's released on the, I think, with the English version. I used to play the Russian version of this, and that was a while back. I mean, like, very, very old game. And the developers of Exegate recommended to go to GOG. So what I did, I just went to GOG website, and I typed Might and Magic 8. As you see, it's £4.29. So I bought the game, and I installed it using GOG installer on my PC and that <clears throat> right you don't need to install the game on your Android phone um, what you do you install the game on your PC so you need to have access to a PC you download the GOG launcher you create an account you log in you make a purchase of the game that supports or are, is supported on the XG app so under all the list I found somewhere that they mentioned that it can be played on uh, let me quickly show it to you so if we go on the mobile so RPG RPG you go might and magic five six no six seven and eight so bingo I used to play might and magic eight I felt okay I will download this app I will buy that game and I'll see how it goes so you make a purchase you install this game on the PC on the Windows PC you install this on the Windows PC I'm not sure if it's gonna well it's a PC, it's a Windows game so it's not gonna work on a Mac and for example this game will be installed in something like and I'll show you right now in address so keep an eye on this field something like here so it's gonna be somewhere in a C drive program files x82 something like that and it's gonna say uh, might and magic eight something like that and inside is gonna be all the files so it's gonna be all the files that needed for the game to run so what you need to do you need to take and copy and copy this copy this folder whatever is the root folder of all the games all the game files copy it and move it to the Android phone main storage Exegear folder and in there as you see right now I have a might and magic 8 so if you click on there it's all the files that is installed on the PC how to move the files I use um, Google Drive so I uploaded the fat folder with all the files to Google Drive wait until it syncs then downloaded everything to my Android it took some time there is a faster way like send anywhere uh, send anywhere online service which you just punch punch in and send anywhere send anywhere there's a this service which file transfer that's going to be possibly quicker because it's just going to transfer internally we're going to go straight to a cloud and straight down it's it's there is new you can even take the usb you can plug it into a deck station and and then copy that way i use the google drive one way no way you need to get these files on the Android device so when it's on your phone and it's in Exegear folder you download the Exegear RPG app and, uh, and use that right it's possibly on my device but sometimes Exegear RPG app crashes so if I'm gonna try to run let's see if it's gonna crash okay it's open first time but sometimes it crashes so what I found the workaround for app when it crashes is run Exegear strategy app first wait until that loads and then when this loads it's fine so it says trial expired that's fine then I need to run Exegear RPG and this will then work so I'm running uh, Exegear RPG Android app so it does is starting up is does whatever it needs to do in the back end and the text all detects all the games in the Exegear folder and it will give me a list of all the games the apps are buggy um, what I mean by buggy sometimes like right now 
they starting they're not starting they want to they don't want to open they all want to open is it's very very picky but close and open again will fall fine so right now it's detected that i have mma.exe and that belongs to the game of might and magic 8. so if i go to my internal storage exegear folder might and magic 8 that's the file is being detected so it knows it's a windows game and if I click run, it gives me an option. So right now we see it's 12, 30, and 30 seconds. So it's 12, 20, and probably was a 30 seconds when I run it. So to use this app and play with magnesium controls, that is recommended for this game. I need to pay nearly 15 pounds. So I'm just gonna start play start. And 10 minutes for me to show you how it all works, I think is plenty. So right now I need to give a couple of seconds for this to run. And again, like I said, it's buggy. Sometimes it starts, sometimes it's don't. 3DO. And it's weird. So the game started. So this is a real Windows game. Real Windows old game. I mean, this is exactly how I used to see on my square old PC monitor. So I just want to check that the volume if let's let's lower it down just slightly so right now uh, click new game and it gives me option to create a character you should um, where is my here we are i used to play with orc as a begin as, as a, in the beginning because they, they're regenerating life very good repair id monsters body build armor sword staff axe oh, let's do they're gonna be oh no he's already a mace okay so you're gonna be repair this and bodybuilding then it's stronger 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 get stronger get stronger get stronger and etc so endurance uh let's increase this just a bit oh no no personality he has <laughs> he has no personality okay let's start click ok and here we are um uh, this it this is this is a real PC game. I mean, exactly how I used to see. Like I said, this is. I, used, I spent so many hours playing this game. So, right now, let's go straight into the armory shop. Uh, let's see. I have 200 gold. Okay, hold on. I might be able to um, equip something. Yes, mace. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be a bit tricky because I need to click a right mouse button click to actually this new this basically is a ingredient to make a mana potion in there and I can cause no, no right button click is detected what's this that's the potions, the potions available. you see there's a life I makes basically a, a potion health potion right let's go do some fighting there is some fight there so in the beginning when I used to play I used to go here or come here and uh, uh, collect all these dead bodies because they, they're giving me uh, the gold so it's like a uh, farming gold so let's lower the screen down it's a pirate in the beginning you're very weak I mean you barely can kill anyone so uh, I need to be careful to move around here let's pick up more okay so far okay let's run back let's see how much gold they have and maybe spend some oh go away uh, okay award skills not bad might skill points awards so this is I mean this is exactly the game that I used to play I mean everything <laughs> even the graphic oh learn skills what you can uh, sword no and the map map is quite big and this is this is just a part of it I mean it's uh, it's very 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 big and there's loads of areas to go over it's very good all game they're good if you are RPG lovers believe me this is game is definitely for you you can you can right, as you see right now I have one character that is another four slots I can actually get the dragons so when I used to play I used to quickly start I need to remember where actually the dragons are used to go straight away there and uh, 
ask the dragons to join me so I have two dragons one very heavy like this is a tank dragons then the mage and the archer and 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 just go and kill everyone go and kill everyone cataclysm blah 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 okay there is somewhere I can remember there's another guy who can join me I think it's one of these Hmm. Nope. Okay, ship. So, I think I can, if I remember correctly, I can fire this by clicking here. Yes. I remember that. Let's see me here. What's inside our refreshments? So. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I'm gonna start playing and I'm never gonna finish. So save the game. Yes, you cannot empty. Okay, I need to rename it something. Yes, fine, fine. Okay. Uh, okay, did it save? No, save. Oh, I saved in a blank space. Fine. Quit. Yes. Quit again. A real PC game running on Android device I mean amazing <laughs> amazing um, I tried um, a, before before starting recording this video try to see how I can get uh, any any what is called strategy games to demo strategy games for you but um, I checked my all all accounts and I do not have uh, the license for any 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 old PC games so I'm gonna have a look maybe I'll I'll do some a bit of testing and um, I might buy one of their old strategy games just to do a demo just to sh show you how strategy games work because I'm, I'm I'm more thinking to actually get a Star Wars a Starcraft or Diablo 2 just buy this old game uh, and see how it goes but here we go the Exagear RPG and Exagear strategy but in this video you saw Exagear RPG game um, um, emulator windows emulator whatever you want to call it and like i said um all the links to what i show you here is in the down description below next to the like button don't forget to click that and i'll see you in another video where i'm testing apps and games from various android devices thank you very much for watching and goodbye